Good morning. Welcome to my kitchen. I just finished my four mile plus walk. That's why I'm looking like this. But I decided, what the heck, I'm gonna come on here and cook my oatmeal with you and catch up. But let me see if there's, um, I need to start my chat to see if anybody's chatting or anybody's here. If you're here, just say hi. I just got on, so maybe take a few minutes for people to get on or not. Maybe I'll just talk to myself. Um, so basically, I'm here after my four mile plus walk this morning. It's afternoon now, but I did leave it at like 1130, something like that. And is this like high? I don't know. It's kind of like I'm looking up. Um, and I'm trying to arrange because I'm going to show you how I make my oatmeal. And basically this is just like a hangout because I haven't been here for a while. And just to catch up with what's going on, let me see if I can make this better. And um, I don't know, it's kind of boring to make oatmeal for me my, by myself. So I thought I'd share it with you because I don't make just any kind of oatmeal. I make a really good healthy oatmeal. I have some decaf coffee brewing. I usually drink my coffee. Hi Bill. Um, uh, I usually drink my coffee half caffeinated and half decaf, but I am tr going, I'm not trying. I am not going to drink decaffeinated coffee. I hope to quit again. I didn't used to always drink it, but I like coffee. But I'm going to drink decaf. I just can tell that it doesn't make me feel great, but I love it. Isn't that the isn't that terrible? Like you really like something, but it doesn't make you. You can just tell it doesn't make you feel great. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get a cup of coffee. Oh wait, before I do that, I'll take my little vitamins with you. So, I just got back from my 4 mile plus walk. And I haven't, I've walked, I've been walking a little bit on and off, but I used to like a couple months ago and you know, months before that I was walking at least six miles a day. And today I was just like, man, I could feel like I am out of shape, like just for walking, you know, I did it, but I could just tell my body didn't handle it as well as it normally does so i really need to just get back on the ball with that plus you know i always want to show up at my doctor's appointment with my being stellar having made some goals that i had set with my doctor and that's coming up in january so i have a couple months to get myself back in order so yeah every morning i usually take a Vitamin, uh, a couple of vitamin C, super important. Um, D3, K2. I love this um, vitamin code, raw iron. It has B12 in it. You guys know that I am plant-based, so I don't eat meat. But even if you do eat meat, you should take vitamin B12 because you don't get enough. And um, I'm finishing up this cracked chlorella, and I need to get more. So that's usually going to work. I should do that now before I start um, drinking coffee. Good idea. So if you're here, say hi. Or maybe you're going to leave because you're bored. I don't know. But I'm, what I'm going to do today is make some delicious oatmeal. It's not just any kind of oatmeal. It's really good oatmeal. And if I find that people aren't on here, I'll just um, stop stop my live, I guess, because it would be stupid to sit here and talk to myself. So I wanted to catch up with what's been going on energetically in our, uh, man, this is messy. Why do they have to make these chlorella pills like that? 
like they're tiny, but then the, you get all this powdery stuff. And you have to take like 14 of them. Anyway, I wanted to talk about the energies, the end of the year, you know, what happened with 2021. What about 2022? Like what, what's up for you? What's been happening with the energies in general? Because, you know, well, right now we're going through a lot of stuff like with the, um, yeah, the energies have been really wonky and I don't know for you, but for me, they've been feeling like, God, so, um, demotivating, I guess is the word that I have. That's how I feel. Like, I don't want to do anything. It's terrible. Like, I do want to do something, but I don't want to do anything. That's not a good feeling. So, I don't know if you've uh, been following some of the posts I've been um, making. I'm still a little sweaty from my walk. This thing keeps needing to reconnect. I don't know if you guys are seeing that. Um, anyway, I've been posting about, like, not feeling bad about not getting stuff done. And what to do when you feel like you're in that funk, when you're feeling like, you know, you just don't have them to um, do what you need to do. And really, you just have to force yourself to do something, even if it's a little thing. And I have a bad connection on this video, that's for sure, because it keeps going on and off. Um, for me, I had one day, like, a week ago or something yeah, I think it was about a week ago where I felt like I was just like I didn't want to do anything I couldn't even like getting off the couch to do anything was like I didn't want to but I was super bored and there was a lot of things I could but I just didn't want to do anything and I didn't want to not do anything I, I just don't like that feeling so the next day, I was like, nope, today I'm just going to get up and I'm going to go do, like, I'm going to do things around the house, whether it's like straighten something, clean an area up. Um, and then when I would find myself going to go sit on the couch, I was like, nope, stay off the couch. Hi, how are you doing? Um, and um, I was like, you're not getting, I, every time I'd like head for the couch, I was like, nope go um, like straighten that thing up or go clean that thing up, you know? So I just kept myself busy, little things like nothing. Well, you know, water the plants. I don't know, just odds and ends that didn't get done that needed to be done, but it kept me at least in movement. And that's the thing is long as you get yourself moving, then you're moving. And that's the thing. If you fall into that stagnant energy where you just, can't you're just completely unmotivated to even freaking move that is an energy that will make you unable to move and so if you what so what you need to do is move your body like get up and actually move so it can be walk outside for a minute i mean i know even that you don't feel like, like i'm not saying you me like at that time last week i didn't even want to get up and walk out of the house like I didn't want to do anything that's why I did it for a day I knew I was miserable but then the next day I was like I'm not doing that because I don't want to feel like that and I could have done it again like easily but I didn't want to feel irritated not doing anything again and feeling bored like that so as long as you get up and start doing something moving physically that means you're going to start moving the the energy and then you'll get out of that demotivating energy you see because when you're moving you're not stuck and you're not stuck I don't like using that word we're never stuck but it feels that way you're stuck in that oh, I don't want to do anything I can't do anything it's misery so but you need to get out of that energy field and move your body so then now you're out of it and once you move your body out of it then it's easier to be out of it. So what did you say? Do off Sunni. Am I saying your name right? Do off Sunni. They try to cut our spiritual connection. We have to try it to it even harder. 
maybe but i think it could be just the energy of the universe too so that's what i'm feeling a lot in the universe though even though i got over that hump it seems like every day i have to just be aware of not, not falling into that trap because it's here and then you know i think a, a, another thing is a lot of people are thinking about like 2021 is almost over what did i do like 2020 was 2020 then everybody had hopes for 2021 like yeah I can find, like move on and get some stuff done and 2021 i don't know how much i mean it was different from 2020 but it was 2021 and what i'm hearing is up soon off soon am i saying it right though um so but what i'm hearing is um a lot of people saying like you know like the year got another year went by basically another year went by and i didn't get anything done or i didn't do anything like my life didn't get back on track i guess that's in the way awesome i'm saying your name right um your life didn't get back on track right well i don't know it might have got back on track i mean everybody's in different places but 20 20 was 2020 2021 i i just see a lot of people you know like oh, another year like what like i'm still not doing what i i don't even a lot of people probably don't even know what they want to do you know it's like so uncertain and so like go ahead with life but at the same time the energy is don't go ahead with life because you know with the politics and all of this stuff and all the things we have to deal with it's like go with life but then don't go with life like don't go don't go like it's like this that's why we probably feel the way we do and so you know i've been putting some thought to you know what now like what 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 is it and you know there was things like I was thinking about like, you know, all these things that in my past, like I can't do now, like, you know, my trips and like, I had to postpone two of my spiritual journeys till next year and you know, whatever. So that happened. And, um, but then it's just like, you can't feel like you can really plan anything concrete and, um, hi Sonia. So what I've been doing is deciding that in the now i am i'm gonna feel good now like we only have now we don't have the past and i think what a, a lot of people are doing is trying to grab back to their life like 2019 and back and like start you're living from there and continuing on but 2019 is in the past and you know one of the messages that i've been getting from my guides is look at 2019 and the past as your past life like let it you know put it up in the akashic records and you know it's time to start new so what does that mean what do you what are you now what are you interested in now what you know would you you know what makes you happy now what kinds of um you know what can you do to be content right now even like with what you have not trying to like not saying don't manifest but yeah put some thought out to what you would like to you know see for your future what you'd like to grow for your future but what can you do in the now because you don't have the past and you don't have the future you only have now so if you keep thinking about well you know when this happens in my future then i'm gonna feel good or i'm gonna feel happy no you've got to find that happiness now right you gotta dig inside look for that treasure chest inside of yourself of all those good lovely things you love to feel happy um secure at peace loved whatever those things are and start really embracing the energies of those things now and i was listening to some ram das this morning on my walk and one thing um he was saying was uh, i mean obviously it's an old recording but he was saying um you know you getting to that point like i mean this isn't it was a whole teaching but he was saying like instead of um knowing 
like having the knowing be the knowledge instead of experiencing the bliss be the bliss instead of experiencing um experiencing something be that something so you know so many times we think about you know well you know you want to experience this you want to experience that and that's great but where can you now use you know your lifetime of all of your awesome experiences that you have had okay and like you know what what things really brought a smile to your face what things really made you feel so connected inside what things really you know were fun like you know find those things whether it's like looking at old pictures or you know reading an inspirational book or you know thinking of a memory but then say okay that experience really brought that so that means if you had that experience you have that vibration and if you already have that vibration within you you've had the experience it's part of you now that means you can access that. You don't need to necessarily have that have another experience to feel that again. You can dig inside and, you know, have the memory and and really embrace the energy and the feeling of it and and experience it now. And, you know, you can sit there and really just feel that happiness and be that happiness and you know, it's not, not, a, it's okay to experience things, but the next level is being that thing, being that emotion, being that thought, being whatever it is that you really want to anchor more of in your life. Instead of finding a way to experience it, be that energy of it. So, you know, a really good way to do that is to remember a time that you were experiencing that so you can like when you think of it it, it triggers that um that memory that that um imp, not implant imprint imprinted energy within you it triggers it to activate and then you can be it you know because you have it you just have you have to just re-access it once you feel that feeling you have it inside you have, once you once you've had the experience you you're it's part of you that vibration that emotion that feeling that you got from it you had it so um when i w want to feel that i think of my cat yep so there's a lot of things you can think of so give me one second because i'm going to grab a cup of coffee and then i'm going to I'm going to make my oatmeal like you guys are going to see my oatmeal. I know, like, you're like, whoopie doo. No, but it's good. It's, it's good oatmeal. It's really healthy oatmeal. And I love it. I pretty much eat this oatmeal every day and if i don't it's for a rare occasional reason so, what did you guys have for breakfast it's two o'clock here and i haven't had any just my water i've had water today so let's see so what i like to start out with is i think you can um, probably see everything but I'll bring it here I love this nut milk because there's two ingredients water and cashews and cashew milk is so creamy and so good so I make enough oatmeal for like five days I know that might sound weird but it's a process and I don't have time to do this process every day and I want a good breakfast every morning so I just put a little bit there because I start my oatmeal by putting all the um, ingredients that aren't the oatmeal in first and get them heated up and activated. So I like to use fresh turmeric and fresh ginger 
in my oatmeal and I actually use those spices as much as I can in pretty much everything. There's a drink that I make with that too that with lemon and uh, black pepper that I drink at night. I'll drink a cup of that at night. Um, so who's here? You guys say hi if you're here. Let's see. So yeah, so I will actually um, do this whole piece because I'm going to make that drink I told you about. So basically, I just peel it and then I grate it and I put it in the pot and let it heat up a little bit. So I don't really enjoy having to go through all this to make my oatmeal, but it's good for your body. Their turmeric is so good for your body. And so, you know, I'm happy when I have it to eat. And I put, what else do I put in it? I put um, cardamom and I put black pepper because black pepper helps to um, digest the turmeric better. And else cinnamon and if I have it I'll, I'll cut up a few um, medjool dates I love medjool dates but I just finished my last ones the other night need to get more so what are you guys doing for um, Thanksgiving I've been dreading the thought of it because I'll be making turkey for other people. I don't eat turkey. Um, I don't know, usually we do something really low key, but no, that's not the case this year. Anyway, let's not talk about that. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been really thinking about is just incorporating those, those um, experiences and those feelings into my my day and you know I spend time in the morning I have cl usually clients in the mornings but when I I say morning I usually start my day with clients and then I have my my breakfast and then I have my kind of downtime to um, think about you know what am I gonna focus on today what am I going to embrace in my energy today and how am I going to do that because if you're not mindful of it these days then um, it you end up being unmotivated and not getting anything done and not being in the right place um, Afsuni, Afsuni says I have I'm having digestive problems I have to do the diet with low carbohydrates. Oh, well, everybody has their, their things. And um, I find whole food plant-based what, what I really enjoy. And um, yeah, anyway. So yeah, what else do I want to talk about? I have a, I keep telling you guys this, but I have a bunch of crystals that um, I have for sale, but I just haven't come on live to do it. And I need to get to that. And um, yeah, basically I just wanted to come on tonight, today and just catch up with you and say hi and just talk about what the energies are like. So also I would say like, think about you know, this is the perfect time to start putting the energy towards your next year. And I always um, start around actually August or September for the next year, because when you start early, you can see things uh, show up in your reality as soon as February. So, you know, most people wait till January to set their intentions and then they usually lose steam like by February 
a lot of people don't stay consistent with it. But with my um, spiritual mentoring group, it really helps because we meet online twice a, twice a month. So it keeps us engaged in you know the process and it keeps us uh, focused and also raising our vibration because that's what we're working on a lot is with this our um, spiritual mentoring group is is raising your vibration expanding your energy and ascension and so when you're doing that obviously you're going to be more in touch more tapped into a greater field of energy with a greater um amount of possibility for uh, manifesting I don't, I don't like to use the word manifesting but whatever for realizing into your reality the things that you know you may want and with that comes things that you may not want because when you're expanding your field when you're expanding your awareness when you're expanding your consciousness you know everything resides oh this is perfect I'd love to talk about this so let me just finish this part up. So yeah, we're working on that twice. We, we meet twice a month and it's such an awesome, we have the most deep, amazing discussions and teachings. I'm channeling, you know, real, like real time, like we're getting current information every time and it just blows. It's, it's just mind blowing every single time. And I've been doing these uh, these spiritual mentoring um, webinars since 2000, and I started right at the end of 2012. Yeah, when I when I moved back from Egypt, when it was going to be the big Mayan calendar thing, and everybody was like, "What's going to happen?" So. Um, I had started it, I was guided to start it then, and I never thought it was gonna like last, what is this, almost 12, 10 years now. I never imagined, uh, Homer's texting me, I don't know what he said. Um, I never imagined that we would still be going strong 10 years later, that's crazy. Now we, you know, people come and go, not so much anymore. Well, that's not true. It, people do come and go. But we have a core group that has been there since the beginning. And then there's people that come and go. So it's really high vibrational. And a lot of people can't hang with it. Probably too, much, too fast to grow faster than they're willing or wanting. And so that's usually the reason why people drop out. Um, and, and it's fine because I always say, you know, whatever the reason, they're not matching the vibration of the group. So it's better for them, better for us, right? So that's not a big deal. I love our core group. Um, we've grown so much in the last 10 years together. But it's so great because it just helps. It's a tool to keep you on track. And um, we, we've just gone to heights that I've just never imagined, especially in like the last year. It's just beyond amazing. We're all like, oh, like it's, it's amazing. And it's just so helpful for your life. To, to have the, you know, the check-in every couple of weeks and the new teachings and the guidance. So, anyway, um, yeah, if you guys are, if anybody new came in, say hi. We're just catching up. I'm making some of my uh, special oatmeal, and I'm peeling ginger and turmeric right now because that is, like, my main goodness with my oatmeal but we're just catching up and we're talking about you know 2021 and what to do with 2022 like some people are feeling like what the hell like another year and like nothing like significant or 
Like we're still in this crap. So I do want to talk about something. Mm. Decaf coffee. It's good. I'm giving up the caffeinated coffee. But this brand of decaf organic coffee is delicious. And I always mix my coffee half decaf and half caffeinated anyway. So it's still good. And I'm looking like this because I just got back from my four plus mile walk. So that's why I'm looking like this. I'm not trying to look like, oh, she's wearing like exercise clothes, but she doesn't exercise like that kind of person. Um, hi, Marilyn. The brand is, I threw the package away and I should know because I've been buying it for like years. It's a, it's a Florida coffee place. What is the name of it? It's like kick-ass <laughs> decaf or something like that. I don't know. I will let you know, though. I will let you know because I have to go buy some more. Um, because I'm almost out. So, yeah, there's something I want to talk about. I want to talk about this because... I think it's really important for everybody to think about, like, don't, you don't have to believe what I believe, but, um, I'm trying to do this. So, you know, I don't really like talking about, like, politics or stuff like that because everybody believes different things and then people get mad. And you know what? People are only going to understand to the level that they can understand. So I could have like an understanding that somebody will not understand. And it's not that they disagree. And they may even agree, but they may not really understand what I'm saying. That's why it's not good to talk about it because we all have a, well, I don't want to say don't talk. Talk about it if you want. Everybody should do what they want to do. Everybody should talk what they want to talk. But I want to talk about something in particular. So now I take this little grater and I just grate my turmeric and I grate my ginger. Mmm, so good. Into my nut milk here. Okay, how should this go? So you know, there's, I don't like to really talk about it because I also don't like to give, like, once you tell somebody something, you've exposed them to the thought of it. And whether they believe in it or not, now it's part of them. And so that's why I always tell people, like, well, you know, like my students and stuff, like, if something's, like, scary or, you know, I don't know, let's just say scary or fear-based or negative. Like, don't share that with people because, well, you can do what you want. But what you're doing is, you know, you're instilling that in them whether they believe it or not. So I'll give you an example. I'll say, I like to talk about myself instead of other people. Because then, you know, I'm not talking, I'm only talking about my own experience. So I know somebody that used to, I don't know, they probably still do, but not so much with me send a lot of conspiracy theory stuff out and you know what conspiracy theory that's just too vague of a uh, top um, label like I don't I don't like to everybody it has a negative connotation to it and I don't think it's negative I mean there are some things labeled conspiracy theory that I actually believe there's a lot that I don't but you know it, it just gets, everything gets lumped into that, to that title by people who are totally against thinking against anything mainstream, which is also an issue, but whatever. So, but we'll say like, you know, scary stuff. Like they're saying a lot of stuff like, you know, when they, they refer to things like, um, you know, history repeating itself. They're talking about, you know, concentration camps and crap like that. But it could be anything. And I told him, 
Like, stop sending me that stuff because you know I don't like it. And you know, like most of the stuff you send, I don't buy into it. And um, it's negative and it's fear-based. And, you know, when especially some of the people that, that it involves, I'll, I'll hear the name and go, oh, please, like, don't send me that crap. Like, because that person is out of their mind or whatever. So <laughs> he said to me, well, you can just um, release it. You don't have to, um, you don't have to like, you know, take it on. I said, I don't want to see, I don't want to see it to begin with because once you s send it to me, now I don't unsee it. I mean, I, I don't have to believe it. I don't have to go into it, but now it's part of, you know, some created reality that somebody has put forth that other people are buying into. And I don't want to have those things. Like if, you know, if I'm meant to see something, I'll see it. I don't need you to send it to me. So, you know, it gets to a point, like, I, I even told that person, like, that's your karma. If you keep doing that, um, you know, he goes, well, people don't have to, you know, believe it. I'm just like giving information. And I said, you know what, if I'm telling you right now that you are sending stuff that you're inserting it into people's vibration just by simply um, sharing it with them and you know that it's fearful or scary or negative like your that's your karma like you are responsible for what you are putting out there and helping to create by strengthening it by adding to the number of people that know about it that otherwise may not and, um, you know, that's a thing too. So that's an important point. So pay attention to what you, what you share and what you put out into the world because you are assisting in the creation of whatever that is that you're putting out. So is it worth it? Is it, is it helpful? Is it gonna make things better? Okay, so that's one thing. But somebody told me like they were talking about that whole, oh, unfortunately it looks like it's going to this, like the whole Nazi thing. And I said, you know, first of all, just because it's in a video doesn't make it true. Like if somebody says like, oh, there's all these camps set up or whatever, like anybody could put a picture and say, this is happening. Doesn't mean it's true. It might be true. I don't know, but it doesn't, mean it's true there's a lot of things that people put out there that are bs as we know okay we already know that so you can just say you know well i said you know i i'm not gonna focus on that and um that's not where i am but okay how should i put this so basically she said well i'm not doing this from fear this is just you know you have to be aware and I said, but if, even if it's not fear and it's just aware, you're still creating it. You're holding it in your space. So this is the main point right here. Everything exists. Everything exists in our universe. Everything, any thought, any concept, any belief, any lie, any, I mean, even if it's a lie, it exists because somebody thought it. Think about that. So it doesn't really actually, I mean, it might have been a lie in its creation, but once you say it and you envision it, it's actually not, I mean, it's a lie for that situation, but it's actually been created. Okay, so think about that. So that said, see, doesn't that look good? Hold on one second. Um, yeah, so everything exists. Every thought, every dream, every fear, every, you know, plead, every prayer. If you thought it, it exists in the universe. 
You may not see it um, physically yet, but you created it or everyone. Imagine how many thoughts you have a day and multiply that times the people, the animals, the plants, whatever, are having thoughts how it's just multiplying, multiplying. That's why, that's why the universe is infinite because it keeps expanding. So no matter what, it's there. So when somebody says I have to hold awareness for it, I, I said, well, then you're supporting in creating a stronger energy for that to happen. Fear or not fear. And um, then, I, then I get disconnected, reconnected. Um, then um, I said, certainly, you know, everything exists in the universe. So all that exists in the universe, certainly you're not holding awareness for everything, right? You're choosing what you're holding awareness for. And in that choice, you are siding with it, whether you're for it or against it. So if you're fighting against something, you're actually for it because you're giving a very strong emotional concentrated energy towards it. You're actually for it when you're fighting against it. You're very much for it because even if you're against it, you're focusing on it so strong that you're building the energy for that thing to be stronger and stronger. You're like giving it energy. That's why you always say like, don't give your fear energy. So if you have something that you're afraid of and you keep thinking about this fear, this fear, like you're draining yourself and you're just pouring your energy into that fear and doing that creates, right? Hi, Gilda. And so, um, when you just, when someone says, you know, you're burying your head in the sand, it has nothing to do with that. You're picking, you are picking the vibration that you are going to engage in. That's what I'm doing because you know what? There's things in this world that, I, that are happening that I have no clue about, that I have no idea, good and bad. And I will never have exposure to them because I'm not in that vibration. You will have exposure to the vibrations you engage in. And so, you know, that's another thing I was thinking like, this is an example. Somebody who like, you know, was, you know, being very fearful of, you know, the, let's say the, you know, injections and um or against it or you know whatever like they were all like that then i know somebody i was thinking about this and i was thinking oh man they're gonna you know with with these stupid mandates i mean i shouldn't say that because some people might like the mandate sorry I'm trying to stay neutral here <laughs> with that um you know they're they're gonna have to deal with that what are they gonna do like if they're so against it and how did they get in that situation where they have to deal with that well, because they were engaging in that energy in some way. So now they got to deal with it. And, you know, I was, because I originally, what made me think that was originally I was feeling bad for people who were like being forced. And, you know, I was glad that I can make my own choices, whatever it is, for or against. And I don't have to be forced. I, I have the problem with being forced. I don't have a problem with people doing or not doing. Everybody should choose. Um, but, you know, I was like, I was, you know, I always hear my guides in my head. And I was like, you know, thank goodness. Like, I don't have to have, make those kinds of decisions. Like, I don't have to be involved in that. And I heard the message come in saying, you didn't, you weren't available for that. That's why you don't have to, like you're not available for it. So that was another thing, like what are you available for and what are you not available for? You know, what thoughts are you being available for? If you're holding something in your awareness, you're available to hold that in your awareness. So if you're going to, if someone's gonna experience it, it's gonna be you, <laughs> you know? And when I say, like, when people say you're burying your head, like, they don't say that to me, but, you know, that I'm just using that as an, uh, 
they might think that. I don't know what they think because I don't really talk about it. But um, if they say something like that to me, I mean, if that, if someone says something like that, it's like, you know what? It, everybody's different because everybody, maybe some people are burying their head. I don't know. But for me, I am choosing the vibrations that I want to engage in. That's what I'm available for. I'm available for, I'm already creating my, living in my created new world. I, you know, this is what we're doing in our, um, wow, that took a while to reconnect again. Um, that's what we're doing in our spiritual mentoring group is like we put 2019 into our past life, into our um, past life records and I was, they were laughing at me because I was like 2020 and 2021 was like going through the scariest, most torturous birth canal ever. Like, no, I don't know. Where am I? Where am I going? What is happening? And then 2022, like not even 2022, right now. Um, okay, see you later. Um, right now, it's like, no, we're stepped into our new world now. And what does that mean? And what vibrations are going to be included in that? And so I'm putting some cardamom, cardamom in here. I got to cook my breakfast or it's going to be dinner. It's already like 2.30. And my cinnamon. Put a bunch of cinnamon in there. And I need to ground some pepper. So, um... Yeah, I mean, it's what you're engaging in, what you're available to, is what you're going to have the potential. Oh my gosh. Hello. What you're going to have the potential to be exposed to. So, darn it, I needed that to be on here. So, it's it matters what you let in your mind. It matters what you think. It matters what you focus on it matters what you talk about because all of those things are what you're available for and then you're gonna have to deal with situations around those things because you've been I mean it's like putting oatmeal together like you put the energy together to cook the full thing and you know eventually you get a finished product so what you're available for what you engage in and when people say like oh well i'm just watching this because it's it's information like i need to be aware well if it if it's like feels like crap you might want to think again because you're making yourself available to it because it's going to exist when when would something no longer exist as a possibility in our universe? You guys have any ideas? Because I've got answers, of course. I'm grinding this pepper because nobody wants to taste pepper in their oatmeal. And my friend, Alma, bought me this very cool, um, that's a panther. No. Panther? Yeah, panther. Um, in Peru in, when we were at Machu Picchu. So I think of her every day when I use this or every time I use this. Um, so you have an energy in motion. Okay, this is my mixture and I'm just gonna put a little water in it and let it heat up and get those like tur turmeric and ginger and all those things um, heated up and bringing up the flavor really good. This is what I eat every day. Okay, so when will it stop existing? When will it stop existing? It'll stop existing when there's no thought of it left, no imprint of it left, no evidence of it left. Like even if somebody wrote it on a piece of paper and that paper was like under a rock for a million years 
but and nobody knew anything about it like the thought was completely gone everything there was no trace of it but on this little piece of paper under a rock somewhere it still exists the only way that some a thought that is created automatically as energy and probably physical too you just haven't related uh, into it enough to see the physical of it okay it's in a vibration it's in a dimension are you in that dimension because if you were in that dimension you would see it so the thought is created bing done created it's there so if there was nobody left that had any memory imprint thought of, of 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 a thought but it was on one little single piece of paper under a rock somewhere for a million years it still exists the only way it doesn't exist if it's completely white and what is the chances of that especially when it comes to the human mind like how good are we at completely just erasing something from that and we might forget because i'm finding i forget things because i'll go back and i'll read something that i wrote like oh my gosh i forgot about that but it was written okay or i'll forget something but my friend homer will will remind me of something i'm like oh my gosh i forgot about that so you know how good are we at, at just completely deleting things that's why it's helpful to put those things that you want behind you like you're like that's old world that's past life like again make your past your past life you don't have to die to make it a past life just it, you're not living in the past anymore right so it is a past life so that's where it helps to say you know what i'm gonna stick that in the akashic records because you feel like okay i'll probably not forget all of these things but I can put it in the Akashic Records because people don't like to really forget things good or bad. There's always something that, you know, reason we would want to think of it for some reason. Um, or that the memory occurs. But if you have a place to put it, it's not like, well, you know, I can't totally forget about this. So we'll just put it in the Akashic Records. We know it's there, but every time we think of it, we go, oh, that was one of those past lives. And then that's a way for you to like cut the the line to it in your current life and not have to drag it forward so often hi Homer um, yep we remind each other of things we forget all the time hey Homer if you have a share button can you share this on my regular Facebook page because I didn't do that um, if you can if you don't if it's not too confusing um but yeah then then you can like free yourself from that and say well that's not now that's now right i was thinking about um and if you didn't see the beginning of this you probably should watch it because there's some good stuff that i was talking about but another thing i was hearing on this thing i was listening today on my walk was okay what was it Oh man, I forgot the first one. And that was a good one. So, oh, I don't even know if I can say it the right way. So I'll just say the one that I remember and hopefully it'll <laughs> it'll be something because it was so good. Now I forgot what the first one was, it's so good. Um, but the second one was if you have a pickpocketer and then the person that is gonna be pickpocketed the only thing the pickpocketer sees is the pocket. Does that make sense? Like, there's more to that whole situation, but the only thing that the pickpocketer knows is the pocket. So you have to think about like, what what is it in the grand scheme of things that you're either dialed into and not seeing the whole story, or that you're so dialed into like that is your focus you miss everything around it um, it was like so profound the way that he was saying these things and I wish I would remember the first one because that one was even better 
but you know it just this universe has everything and it's what you dial into okay this is boiling it's what you dial into that is going to be what you're available for so if you keep thinking about thinking about something you know it's funny when people say oh this thing happened but i didn't manifest it and it's like but but okay this thing happened but i didn't manifest it but um you know i just kept thinking about it like i knew it what part is you know maybe they were picking up on a future event maybe they did manifest it but the point is if it's a focus of attention you're definitely putting energy into it so i mean we're all doing this we're all learning i'm not, I'm not saying like somebody's bad about the way they think i'm not saying you know people have a small perspective and they're not looking at the big picture what i'm trying to tell you is you can be aware of things but if they don't feel good and they're scary or they're you know and you don't even know if they're even really true if you want to sit around and be aware of things then you're going to just be feeding the energy for that to happen and that's going to be potentially something you're going to have to deal with i could know you and i might never ever have to deal with it because i've never put i i'm my my attention and energy is over here and it's de my attention and awareness is not going to be anywhere that shit because i don't want to be in shit sorry for my language but you know we got we got to be real sometimes so now I'm just going to pour in, I told you I'm making oatmeal for five days. I'm going to pour in all this water. And I'm going to, in my oats, and I might eat breakfast by dinner time. <laughs> it's already 2.40, that's hilarious. Okay, so I'm going to put in about um, five, no, like four, <clears throat> four and a half cups of oats. And I buy this stuff by the case, so I get a whole box like... I don't know. I think six of these come in a in a box and it lasts me like maybe three months at the most. Depends if I make cookies or something. So yeah, watch where your uh, awareness is and watch what you're available for. I'm going to stay on here at least until my, my oatmeal is done because I want to show you the complete package. Homer says, remind again how to do it. Just kidding. I don't remember what you're talking about, but um, you're probably not kidding if I know you. <laughs> oh my God, sometimes Homer says things and I'm like, what? Okay, so now I'm gonna prepare the topping for my oatmeal. And this is a blend that I make, but I, I saw it in the health food store and I bought it and I was like, oh, that's perfect. And then I just now buy all the different things and I make it. So it has, I have one Brazil nut every day for health reasons. I only need to have it four times a month, but I just have one a day in my oatmeal. And then I grab like a very small handful of pumpkin seeds, goji berries, and currants. And usually I have this thing full, so I don't know how long that lasts me. Maybe, maybe a couple months. I don't know. I don't use that much. I just, I mean, I use about that much. I use about this much and I like to chop them up uh, yes it is a great color mix 
And I'd like to chop them up and then just put it over the top of my oats. Okay, so did you guys get all that? Because that's really important. That's so important. And, you know, somebody said to me, like, well, thanks for sharing your opinion. And I was like, I'll tell you what I thought. I said, I thought, don't kiss on my leg and tell me it's raining, please. Like, it's not my opinion. That is definitely true. It has everything to do with how energy and vibration and frequency and law of attraction works. It's scientifically proven that what you put your thoughts to creates. And um, not only that, I get my higher guidance in our webinars that I told you about, our spiritual mentoring webinars, and I get high level channeled information all the time. I mean, I get it for our class, but I was telling my class the other day because these guides are like on it. Like you want, you want ascension? Then you gotta like, you gotta do this stuff. Like they're on point. They're very specific and direct. And I'm like, you know, you guys only have to hear it twice a month. I have to hear it every day. Think about that. So, you know, it's not an opinion. This, what I'm telling you is not an opinion. If you know anything about energy, it works like that. And if I'm gonna share an opinion, I'm gonna tell you it's my opinion. I'm not gonna, and, and I never pretend to know everything. And I only share what I know it, like if I'm gonna say something like that, I'm not talking out of my ass, like whatever. Let's just say that's how energy works. It has nothing to do with nobody's opinion. Okay, I'm now cutting up an apple. I always have an apple, but I like it cut up nice and to little bite-sized pieces. I have an apple every day on my oatmeal. And if I can find a pea, peaches or pears or something like that, I will, if they're fresh, like something that's in season, I will also have one of those. But right now, those are not available. Gotta stir my oatmeal. Look at this oatmeal. Look at all that turmeric and ginger and cardamom. Mm, mm, mm. So good, so healthy. So good. Anyway, so I will do that. And right now those things are not in season. Uh, I mean, they do have some pears and when I find suitable pears, I will get them, but right, it's not that easy. So I will have an apple and then I will top it with frozen blueberries because berries are very good for you. And then I will top that with this. A tablespoon of chia seeds a tablespoon of hemp seeds, and a, a little more than a tablespoon of ground flax. So that is my power oatmeal. And then I, I put a little bit of cashew milk on top. That's my power oatmeal. What do you guys think? You guys make oatmeal like that? That's what I have almost every single day. I need a little more decaf. So it's really important to start 
noticing where you're putting your energy because you want to realize like is this something that I want to experience that is this something I want the possibility of experiencing or do you want to um, not and also what I said earlier today about being in the now like obviously you don't have the past and we're talking about a past life we just came through a birth a very painful birth canal and we're going into our new world so are we going to um, right now find those ex remember those experiences that brought you happiness or love or joy or money or whatever the things are that you want remember those times when you had it because that when you remember it it'll activate that energy within you again because once you've had the experience you have the energy in you it'll activate that energy within you and then you want to sit with that energy and be that energy be it not know it not experience be that energy and that's how you then that's how you're being that's how you're vibrating and that's what you're going to experience it's like very simple and my oatmeal is almost done. I don't know why, but I want to show you something really cool. I think it's Archangel Michael. That's why. So my oatmeal is pretty much done. Turn it down a little bit. I'm going to show you something. Very cool. I mean, I think I'm going to show it to you if I can find it easy. Hmm. Maybe I'm not going to show it to you. strange what? give me a second this is weird just disappear into thin air. What in the heck? I think I'm going crazy. How is this possible? Well, I guess I'm not showing you that's so weird. I was going to show you these Archangel Michael um, crystals. <laughs> this is really weird. I'm missing a whole bunch of crystals at the moment. Like big crystals that you can't really miss. And I only have them in one section. And I see all the other crystals. But the big crystals, I don't see them. This is weird, so I guess I can't show you. Okay, thank you for this master class. You're welcome. That's your opinion. <laughs> I like your opinion. Homer says, maybe the crystals ascended to a higher dimension. I know, this is so weird. Like, I totally organized them. So, logically speaking, I should be able to walk right over to these shelves and pick them up. And there are a bunch of like towers and spears, like big ones. I don't know how they can disappear. All right, I'm gonna show you my oatmeal put together. It is done. Thank you for hanging out with me. It made my day, oh, it was so cute today. Uh, I was gonna say it made my day better hanging out with you. Because normally I just do this by myself and it's boring. Um, 
I was on my four plus mile walk today and at the end I just turned off my uh, my little tracker and I was taking it slow walking a little bit so I could go stretch it at a section of the river that I was at and there was a father with I don't know if it was a father a man with two younger boys and one I don't know I don't know how old the boys were maybe eight and six and um, I was walking by them and they, I think they said hi to me and I said hi and then the little boy looked up at me and he's just looking at me when I was walking and then he puts up his hands and he's like high five and I was like I gave him a high five you have a good day and he was so cute and I thought that was I mean it really lifted my day that he did that I thought he is so cute like you know kids don't usually just come up and and do that and I was walking by it wasn't like I was sitting around you know but he was looking at me and he's like high five and it was so cute he was so freaking cute and then i um you know went to stretch and he went to the playground and then i went and ran an errand and then when i came back i saw them at the street walking they were gonna walk out from the park and go i guess home and i saw the little boy again and i was like oh he was so cute that like he just like he had no idea that he just lifted my day. And that's the thing, like you could do one little thing, you have no idea how you impacted somebody's day. And that just was so cute. And it was just made me so happy. And you know, kids, they're not gonna like mess with people if they don't feel the vibe, you know? So that made me so happy. I really, I felt really good. Okay, my oatmeal. The famous oatmeal. I use one of these big scoopers. And usually the first day that I make the oatmeal, I have more than I usually have during the week because I'm so excited because it looks so good. So I had two scoops of that. And then these are my chopped nuts and seeds that I'm going to sprinkle on top. So good. So good, so good. And then I put my apples usually around the side. <laughs> like I have a whole way of doing this. <laughs> and then I put my, uh, what are they called? Frozen blueberries in the middle. This is so delicious. So freaking delicious. So good so good and then I just like get the rest of those nuts off there okay blueberries behind you in the refrigerator pass me those blueberries will you okay sure there they go of course if you know me everything that is here is organic I don't very often eat things that are not organic. So, didn't cut that low enough. And I can always get frozen blueberries. And usually, if they have frozen cherries, I, I will always have frozen cherries too. I love frozen cherries. But they haven't had any frozen cherries for like a few months. Jeez, give me a break. Give me some frozen cherries. So I would put um, like less blueberries and then I would add frozen cherries if I had them. I don't like frozen raspberries. Ugh. Don't really like frozen um, strawberries unless I'm making it with something, like not in my oatmeal. Okay, and then 
This is where I put on the chia seeds. So I just take a tablespoon. This is, you know, you gotta get all your healthy fats and proteins in there. Like this is my, my super food thing that I have every day. That was the hemp seeds. And the ground flax. I usually do a scoop of that. I love that. Yum! So good. And that's how that looks. And then I just pour a little bit of cashew milk on the top. Oh yeah, baby. That is some good stuff. Oh. I'll do the taste test for you. I don't like watching people make recipes and then they don't taste it. Like, you gotta taste it and tell us how good it is. I already know what it tastes like because I eat it every day. But the amount of like all that turmeric and ginger and cardamom and cinnamon, all creamy in that uh, cashew milk with a little bit of that crunch of the nuts and seeds and then the frozen strawberries and like all of those things. Mm. So, so good. Yum. Homer wants to try some of that oatmeal. Yes, you should. Did you check the what? Fridge. Who's in there, Homer? Last night I was finishing up doing dishes. It was late. It was like... Dare I say two in the morning, it was late. Way later than I wanted to be up. And I don't know, I turn around, I thought someone was standing at the entrance of the kitchen. And I looked, I didn't see anybody, but I felt someone. We have a, um, what is it, cemetery right behind the house? You guys wanna see it? Take one more bite of this, I'll take you and show you the cemetery. So we have visitors and we have a live-in. There's a man, a man ghost that lives here for sure. I see him around the kitchen a lot. I'm gonna show you the cemetery. If I can get you off of this stand. All right, so out my back door, I'm gonna switch the camera around. This is my back door. Don't mind all the stuff on the table. We had a little situation here, but do you see the cemetery right there? Like literally? Literally, that is a garage right there. And that is, I'm just gonna take you. It's my poor plants, they're having problems because it's so cold, they're not happy. My bird bath, my two avocado trees that I'm very concerned about because they really need to be repotted into the ground. But this is literally the cemetery. Bye, Gilda. You didn't want to see the cemetery. 
So that said, you know, you know how it goes when you live near a cemetery. It happens. It happens. All right. Well, I think I'm going to go have my oatmeal. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you got something out of it. And I was really happy to talk about some of those things because it was on my heart to talk about, for sure. All right, you guys, have a great day. Take care of yourself. Put your, your old stuff in the past and um, start living your new self today, like now. And I'll see you there. If we're matching the vibes, if we're engaging in the same energies, I will see you there. And if not, have fun wherever you go. All right? All right. See you guys later. Peace.